in video description I have provided the link to download free practice model please subscribe to this channel hi friends in this video we are going to see designing of ribs and the design consideration for the rib so purpose of rib adding to the part is to have the bending stiffness to the part so without rib the part will get wear so avoiding that we need to have the feature called a rib so adding ribs increase the moment of inertia which increase the bending stiffness bending stiffness equal to hence modulus into moment of inertia and also the part thickness is the main playing the main role in designing of the rib so whenever we are going to design the rib the rib thickness should be between 0.4 to 0.6 of the nominal thickness of the part so nominal thickness is nothing but the overall thickness maintained on the plastic part so that is what mentioned here that w is uh, width of the rib 0.4 to 0.6 t t is the thickness of the part radius of the corner should be 0.25 into thickness if we have more radius then it will have the less sink effect so here they have mentioned because of more material at the bottom it caused the sink mark here ribs greater than or equal to 0.5 wall thickness to avoid the sink mark so in this video in this slide we can see able to see the sink analysis by using the autodesk so the first one whatever it is green highlighted it is the consideration of rib design with 0.6 nominal thickness so here it is having red color it is having the uniform wall thickness to the rib whatever the nominal thickness it is applied to the rib thickness also so that is the reason here it is having the sink issue so next whenever we have the profile like this we need to remove the more wall thickness so that here they have done the core out of the material so that the cooling effect and also sink issue won't be occur this one so the minimum the height of the rib should be limited so height of the rib should be 3 into wall thickness of the part it is better to have multiple ribs to increase the bending stiffness so instead of keeping one we need to have multiple so the gap between each rib should be 2t greater than 2t t is the thickness and if you are having the warping like this on the x axis then your rib should be perpendicular to the x axis then only your rib will act as a stiffness to the part in video description i have provided the link to download free practice model please subscribe to this channel